Ptolemy's theorem is this really interesting theorem that relates the side lengths of a quadrilateral to the lengths of the diagonals of that quadrilateral if the quadrilateral is inscribed inside of a circle. Today we're going to see a reason why that relationship is true and actually use it to prove a classical theorem in geometry. Welcome to today's video, I'm Prof Omar, and today we're going to talk about Ptolemy's theorem, which states the following about quadrilaterals that sit inside of a circle. If you take the opposite sides AD and BC and multiply their lengths, and add the product of the other opposite sides, which are AB and DC, you actually get the product of the lengths of the diagonals, which is AC times BD. Now our central question here is why this is true, but let's actually see a cool consequence of this. Let's say you have a triangle that has a right angle here, and these side lengths are A and B, and this is C. A classical theorem in geometry tells us a relationship between these. It's Pythagorean theorem, and it says A squared plus B squared is C squared. We can actually see this as a consequence of Ptolemy's. What we'll do is inscribe this inside of a circle. So it looks something like this. All right, now this is a right angle over here. What we'll do is, because this is a right angle, this thing has to be a diameter. And so if we place points anywhere here, we'll get a right angle as well. Um, so I'm gonna do this in a way that like reflects the picture. So we'll have something like this, where this length is B and this length is A. So we're reflecting the triangle we had originally. So this is gonna be a right angle here. Okay. So then this is a rectangle, and this diagonal will also have length c because it's the same triangle as we have um, in our original triangle. So by Ptolemy's, the product of the opposite side lengths added up has to equal the product of the diagonals, and that gives us that a squared plus b squared is c squared. Okay, so now let's actually go ahead and try to prove this theorem. There's one interesting proof that I actually really like that's a geometric construction, and it does the following. It says, consider this angle DBC, and then place a point on AC, I'm gonna call it like K, so that the angle ABK is the same as this angle DBC. And from this, we're gonna be able to construct two similar triangles that are gonna allow us to determine this equality right over here. The similar triangles are gonna use quantities in this expression so that we get closer to this expression as we can. Now, if we look at triangle ABK, we have this angle right over here, which happens to be the same as this angle right over here. Now, this is a quarter of the circle, so we have any angle subtended by it is the same, regardless of where it is. So that means that this angle here has to be the same as this angle right over here. So we see in triangle ABK, we have two angles that are the same as triangle DBC. And so these two triangles actually have to be similar. This triangle here is similar to triangle uh, DBC. Okay, so you, let's use this similarity to get some information about ratios that are close to the type of ratios that we want in our expression right over here for Ptolemy's theorem. So one of the things that we have involved is AB. Another thing we have involved is uh, BD. And then we also have DC. So we might as well use these three. And this will tell us by the similarity that AK over AB is the same as uh, DC over DB. Okay, so let's try and do the same thing with a different triangle. We notice now we have this side right over here and these two angles right over here subtended by this chord. So these two angles right over here are actually the same. Okay, at the same time, if we look at this triangle CBK right over here, we have this angle alpha and this angle alpha is this blue angle minus this angle right over here. Okay, but this angle here is also the blue angle minus this angle over here, so this angle right over here is alpha as well. Okay, so in CBK, we have alpha and this dot, and in ADB, we have alpha and this dot, so we have another pair of similar triangles. 
we have triangle CBK is similar to triangle DBA. Again, let's look for what is actually in this expression here. We have BC involved and we have DA involved and then we also have AB involved. So we'll actually use this DB so that we have this CB used. And if we do that, we get something like CK over BC. So CK over BC is the same as DA over DB. All right, so here are the two expressions that we have from the similar triangles that we've drawn. Okay, so what does that tell us? Well, you can notice we can rearrange things a little bit. Um, the thing we're finding an expression of is AC times BD. Um, if we multiply these by DB, we'll get an expression for AK times BD and CK times BD. And AK plus CK is actually all of AC, so that'll help us. So if you look at this expression, AC times BD, that's the same as AK plus CK times BD. Let's look at AK times BD. AK times BD is AB times DC. And CK times BD is AD times BC. And that's exactly the expression that we wanted for Ptolemy's theorem. So a cool theorem that has at least one interesting consequence in Pythagorean theorem. If you liked today's video, click the like button. If you'd like to see more videos like this, subscribe to the channel and click the bell for notifications on future videos.